how to maintain healthy eating. Train the mind to work on your favor. So you are in the command of your mind and you can use the mind because the mind is a good, it's not the, the mind is bad. You know, the mind is, it's an amazing thing. That's why we are having this experience in this lifetime, but you need to be in control, not your mind. Otherwise we experience the cravings, we experience the, all these struggles that uh, we're talking about. Meditate. Building a practice of meditation, especially on a daily basis, it's important. It does not to need. It does not need to be complicated. It can be only a few minutes a day. You can start with three minutes. Whatever. It starts anywhere. It's doable for you. Don't start with one hour daily. If you, you know, if it's there's a chance for you to drop the practice after five days. It starts small, but do it regularly. And if you do. I'm not talking about guided meditation for sleep. I'm talking about meditations that work within Kundalini Yoga, that challenge the psyche, it challenges the mind. We want to challenge the mind during the meditation. And uh, on this meditation I'm teaching, it's an example of that, but there's many others. And rewiring the brain. How do we do that? Through the Kriyas, Kundalini Yoga Kriyas. Is in the meditation as well, rewiring the brain. There's other techniques that I use with my students along the yogic practice, uh, processing feelings, you know, strategies. But in the first place, I think the most important piece here is tell the body what is the new way you want it to work. You know, strengthen the nervous system, regulates the hormonal system, the, regulates the di digestive system. We do that through the kriyas as well. And one thing that I want to say is anything that does not contribute to your balance will hold you back. So think about your eating habits. Think about the environment and the branches of your eating habits. Because eating habits is not just the facts of you sitting on your table and eat. It's about relationship, it's about communication. It goes beyond it. So what, just take some minutes today and think about your habits, not only eating, the facts of your eating, but different other habits that you have in life. Are they contributing for your evolution? Because if they're not, they're holding you back. So it's important, first of all, to identify these habits that might be holding you back. No? Um, examples, avoiding food, counting calories. I'm gonna talk about this in another time, but these are habits that, if they're not working with the root cause of it, it's more doing damage than good because the mindset is not being trained.